So it's July 13th, 1230, still really jet lagged. So last night the channel hit 100,000 subscribers. And that was a goal I set about six months or so ago, and I attached a challenge to that goal, which was to start daily vlogging when I hit 100,000 subscribers. And basically the thought process was, I had always wanted to do a daily vlog, but first I wanted to build up an audience for it, so I figured 100,000 subscribers was a giant, big fat audience that would be a great starting point for a vlog. So I discovered this quote recently, don't give up on something you can't go a day without thinking about. And not to be too dramatic, but for me that's always been making movies. And right now, I'm in a point where I'm trying to make as many little YouTube movies as I, as I possibly can. And ultimately, that'll lead me into bigger and better, brighter things in the future. And maybe one day you'll see a feature film in the theater by this guy with the crazy hair. It's Greta's first time driving stick in years. So look at me. Oh my god. Oh, you're a natural. I'm the bomb. So for those who don't know, in Europe in general, but specifically in Italy, almost all of the cars are manual cars. It's very rare to have an automatic transmission in cars in Italia. In Italia. So also in Italy, the average road is legitimately half the size of the average road in America. You'll see roads that you think are a one-way road that are just a typical road uh, in Italy, so it's, it's kind of funny. But the average car in Italy is much smaller than cars in America. Most of the cars here are hatchback cars, hatchback style little cars. There's So we were just about to enter this store. That was totally not planned. I was just filming the wall and the entranceway and the logo and whatever. And then next thing you know, one of Greta's friends pops in. That's so funny. <laughs> So we're going to an electronic store here called Media World. In Italy, they have a different outlet than in America, so we need to get some adapters. And additionally, I need to get a razor. This tastes pretty much like a, like a Best Buy of Italy. The Best Buy of Italy. Found it. We got two universal adapters. We're looking for the razor now. I did bring my razor, but the voltage is different in Italy versus America, so we're just, I don't know, it doesn't work properly, so we're just gonna get a whole new razor. This is Nerch. <laughs> what is this? It's like some, it's like a um, snail. He's moving. <laughs> yeah. Andiamo! Hi! 
An die Arme. Okay, we're on our way to the center city of Como once again because today we are going to get some gelato. And we're getting gelato at a gelateria where Greta used to work last summer. And apparently it has award-winning gelato, some of the best in Como and maybe all of Italy. Last time I went to, I came back to the United States. I was in Italy for three months during summer and I had my first experience working at a gelato shop and it was literally the best job I've ever, oh sorry. Oh, <laughs> the second best job. Sorry, I've ever second had. best job I've, job I've ever had. <laughs> well, that's my dream, you know. And I had like an amazing like relationship with the owner of the gelato store, which I still talk to to this day. And so right now we're going there. We're gonna have some gelato, and I'm meeting him again for the first time in three years. So that's gonna be fun. Gelato is good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Aspetta. Come si dice? This is my the old This is the store I used to work at. Huh? This is the store I used to work at. <laughs> no, non mi piace. This is the store where I work yet. <laughs> where I used to work. Used to work. Used, use. Used use. to work. Used to so, Gabriele used to work at this store. <laughs> he doesn't know how to say it. <laughs> uh, it's oh. basically, it's an Apple store, basically, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we made it to the shop. Rossetti. 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 With double S. Rossetti. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> This okay. This is lavender. Mm. That's good. That is ginger and a sort of like spice, kind of, kind of like a spice that we usually put in risotto. Grazie. Aspetta. Look at that. It's a masterpiece. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. This is so freaking freaking good. Which flavors did I get? Okay, so I got him uva fragola, which is like American grape, and then yogurt, which is yogurt. This is the yogurt. And the other one's uva fragola, and it's just... And I got just straight pistachio. And that's the grape. And actually for the pistachio flavor, he gets actual fresh pistachios, and he has a special machine uh, to grind them. So pretty much it's like legit, legit like pistachio gelato with no paste and different like flavorings, you know? It's so amazing. It just tastes so good. Mm. I should also mention that Riccardo, the owner of Rossetti, he refused to take our money. So if you are fine, if you find yourself in Como, please, please try this and say what's up. Okay? You won't be sorry.
do now is I want to do one more and we pick up the pace a little bit. All right, Kevin? Give me a little hope. Once more. 